Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video, I would like to share with you guys my new affordable workout haul. But before we do that, I also wanna share with you guys what I am purging. What kinda led me to go ahead and replace my workout clothes was the fact that I was finding that it was starting to become a little bit difficult to get dressed in the mornings for workout. I've told you guys before, I don't enjoy having like a lot of decisions when it comes to certain things, particularly around clothing. And what I've realized is here I am on week four of my 100 pound weight loss journey and a lot has changed and I had workout clothes ranging between the sizes of 2XL, XL. So yeah, I went through by donating tons of stuff. This is insane, oh my gosh. Here are a couple things that I'm getting rid of. First I have like volleyball shirts. Um, if you guys have kids then I'm pretty sure that you have all the team shirts. Yeah, so sometimes I was finding myself like working out in those but I am currently getting rid of those. And then I have this this little tank here. If I find pictures of myself wearing some of this stuff, I'll be sure to insert it. Actually, I'll show you what this looks like on. Oh, also, this is a shirt that I'll be getting rid of. This is what it looks like currently. So like, as you can see, this is like an oversized tank, but it's starting to look frumpy. So I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. This tank here is a 2XL, but again, I'm starting to feel a little frumpy in it. I'm getting rid of this one. I actually have this tank in like multiple colors, so we're getting rid of all of them. Like yellow, here's a pink, I think I have a blue. So yeah, we're getting rid of these. This tank here, I think I have a picture somewhere. I'll actually show you guys what it used to fit like. Yeah, this one's a 2X as well. I'll be getting rid of this tank. And then this tank here is an XL, and I'll show you. So at one point, it looks like I had, um, like this was the only tank that I felt comfortable in. So I bought it in so many colors, but now I no longer like the fit, which is why I'm getting rid of it. And I'm sure like it still fits, like I could still wear it and get away with it, but I don't like how it fits me. So. See what I mean? Like I'm sure it still fits, but I don't like the fit. So I'm okay with getting rid of it. I just believe in, I don't know. I like to wear stuff that I feel good in. Not just good, like amazing. So I don't feel amazing in this tank. So I'm getting rid of it. And I have this tank in like, here's a blue, a pink one, here's a black one, <laughs> here's another black one. These all came from Walmart. So if you do like the style of this tank, these all came from Walmart many, many moons ago. They're by the brand, is that Avia? Avia, that brand. Here's even more, another pink one, another blue one. I just not digging them anymore. And if I'm truly being honest, what I think it is is that because of the rib here under the arm part, and I think that ribbing is starting to kind of like rub a little bit, so that's why I'm getting rid of those. All right, so let me show you guys what else we have. All right, so I have this top, and this top is not that it's too big. It's like spandexy, and like my stomach area is definitely like larger than the rest of my body, and I don't like the fact that it hugs my stomach so much. Yeah, I don't. I just don't like it. I don't feel great in it. And then as far as the stomach area goes, I've already, I've already accepted the fact that when I reach my goal, I'm gonna have a Tommy tuck. So maybe in the future I'll wear a top like this, but not today. And here's another top that is an XL, just not, it doesn't, no. Here is a 2XL top, getting rid of that. Another yellow top. All right, we're just gonna go through the rest of these really quickly. Here's a 5K that I did. Never liked the material of the shirt. Here's another one of those Walmart tops. Here's a old wife top, honestly. If he wants me to have it, he could buy a different one. That's a 2XL and it's too big now. Like there's just a lot of tanks in here. They all range, like I said, between 2XL and XL. And the new tops that I bought for myself, they're larges and I like how they feel fit much better. Here's a cute little Nike top, but I don't like how it looks on me. Here's a pair of spandex. I don't know, like, I can't even remember what I got these for or what they went with, but I don't tend to wear different colors on the bottom unless they're dark because, you know, butt crack sweat. <laughs> and then I'm also getting rid of my Old Navy legging because I've come to realize that I really like the, I could be saying it wrong, but the 90 degree flex. You can find them on Amazon, but also I'm gonna show you guys, I found some in a store um, in my new affordable haul. So that was pretty exciting. And it's not that the Old Navy tights are bad because they really got me through a period of life where I couldn't like afford a different type of legging and I couldn't find a different type of legging. So they were great for that season, but I just like the ones I wear now because they're a lot more soft. A pair of sweatpants, 
They have bleach stains on them. Here's a white top, like the other ones I showed you guys. And that's one thing you guys would quickly learn about me when it comes to clothing. If I find something that works at that time, I'll probably buy multiples in either the same or different colors because I'm not that picky or finicky when it comes to clothing. This was a cute top, tough as a mother. This was really cute. Here are a pair of Nike shorts. I actually, I'm keeping my other Nike shorts. I don't know. Okay guys, I lied. This is going back in my room. <laughs> These are going back to my room. <laughs> yeah, I still have the sports bra to match. I think I'm gonna hold on to them. Yeah, they're going back in my room. Just kidding on those. These did, but like, I don't want sweat back there. Like, I'm, I am not comfortable filming and having butt crack sweat. And this shirt, I thought I was gonna get rid of this shirt, but I think I may keep it because this is the top that I did my first 5K in. And I think it would be interesting to see like a year from that 5K, how it fits. So thumbs up this video if you guys think that's a good idea. Like maybe keep this one so I can do a side by side. Told you guys, if I like it, I love it. <laughs> and another one. So how many items am, am I getting rid of? Oh my gosh. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, my shoulders are getting tired. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. 46 pieces of clothing. Oh my gosh. Oh, 47. The one that I'm wearing. Wow. That feels so good. So proud of myself for going through and getting rid of these. And I do want to say that I've already done a little gratitude towards these clothes because I'm so thankful that they were there, you know, when I was at the heavier side. I enjoyed them. Like as I was wearing them as a fit, I really enjoyed them. I appreciated them. And I'm just so proud of myself that one, I'm able to go down to another size. Two, I'm actually really happy that I'll be able to donate these to someone that may appreciate them and enjoy them. Now I'm trying to decide if because I'm looking at the timer thing and it says 1054 so do I do the try on haul here or do I just make this two videos all right we're gonna we're just gonna do it so I'm gonna put this to the side and go grab my new workout clothes and it's not 46 items <laughs> all right guys so now I want to show you what I purchased I want to show you these first because I ordered these from Amazon these are by the gym people so I thought that these biker shorts were would be really cute because they had a pocket on them but I'm going to tell you now look at them I know myself I'm not going to be comfortable in these so I'm not even trying these on way too short for me but I did find these on Amazon they're the 90 degree by reflex everything that I show you guys I'll be sure to link it in the description box how about that I think that'll work let's try these on because I could be trying myself but let's see how they look these are the biker shorts let's see how they look all right so remember these are a size these are a size large I used to be a size XL all right so these are a size large I'm really comfortable with how they fit they're very soft very soft and comfortable these are thumbs up I feel really good in these very confident so yes we're keeping these I'll be sure to put the price down below but I also found these I live in Florida so there's a discount store like a Marshall's Ross TJ Maxx but it's called Bell's Outlet and I found these which are by the same brand and it's a black pair and like this color here and you guys they're literally they're the same short so <laughs> I found them in a size large for $14.99 $14.99 so if you live in Florida the same shorts that I love from Amazon are on sale at Bell's Outlet for $14.99 so I'm not gonna try these on because they're literally the same short so I know I'm gonna love them now I also bought I purchased these sports bras by that same brand so you guys can also find these on Amazon I'm gonna try these on and see what they look like and these are actually an XL but I'm only going to wear these 
whenever I'm not doing cardio, like when I'm just doing weights. Okay, so here we are. This is what it looks like. But I'm not sold on it. Let me show you the support in it. <laughs> Too much jiggle. And I know I said I'll just wear them when I'm lifting weights, but at $14.99, I know it's a really good deal, but if I don't love it, I'm not buying it. So these are beautiful. They even give you extra pads, but not for me. But again, if you love these, $14.99 is a good price. So let's try the next thing. All right, so next we're gonna try these workout tops. This is by Jockey, and I've already checked. I found them on Amazon, so I'll link them below. The thing I loved about this was that I was able to get, like, there's like two that comes in a pack. I'll show you. They come like this. So there's two that come together and $16.99. So I thought that was a really good deal. I'm not someone that's like completely into brands when it comes to workout clothes, but I just like to feel really good in my clothes. And I like things that I think will last. And I think the Jockey brand has been around for a while. They have a good reputation. It's kind of the same way I feel about Nike, but I'm not into like the whole Gymshark, you know, all of that stuff. And maybe one day I will be. Who knows, but for today. I feel really good in this. Like, this is a size large. I think it looks nice with these shorts. I'm gonna try the others on real quickly and I'll just make it a quick change here. It's a blue one. Here's it in blue. Here it is in my favorite color, pink. Love. So I have one, two, three, four of those by Jockey. The next brand is by, there's a brand called Legend, but the E in Legend is like a number three. So this is a size large. Let's see what we got. So this top, ugh, I don't know. I think this right here is probably gonna be a no for me. All right, I got it for $6.99. $6.99, I can't, it's no. It's still $7 and this right here, I know it's gonna bug me. That goes back. This top is by Reebok. See, it was $9.99. Yeah, I think I like these. What is that called? Razor or something? I don't know. Like when they're not all the way under my armpit. I like this. Woohoo! Yes! 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 I like this a lot. Winner. Now this top is by Nine West. So let's see how it looks. And I'm also going to show you guys these um, shorts that I bought that I thought were going to be amazing. I tried myself. Let me show you this top first. So here's the top. I like it. This top was $8.99 and again, don't mind the sports bra. I'll definitely have stuff with more support than what we're seeing here in this video. I wanna show you guys these shorts and they're literally the only thing that I tried on because I was so excited when I saw them. They're, they're actually the shorts that you guys saw on my stories. Let me grab them. These shorts are by the brand Hind or Hind, H. H-I-N-D. And when I ran track in college, this was like a really popular brand so I was like feeling myself like oh oh track girl <laughs> all right I'm gonna show you guys what these shorts fit like they're a size large hang on look at these shorts I like totally I tried myself <laughs> these are supposed to be a run short so like there should be additional room here like these should be loose the top part needs to be loose and then look at this and they have like the little spandex up under them these are going back to the store. Look how tight, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, like I even was like, well maybe you should just keep them. They could be a pair of gold shorts, but at $12.99, I'm not just keeping something hanging around in my closet. They're originally $48. <sighs> They're so cute and they remind me of like my track girl shorts, but I just don't have that track girl body right now. So these are going back. I'm actually taking them off as I'm talking to you guys. But if you like these shorts and like if your legs and your hips and everything are like, you know, you saw what they look like on me. So you can kind of like guess for yourself. 
they are so cute and if i find them on amazon i'll link them but these are super cute just not today felicia not today <laughs> <sighs> Lastly, I found these biker shorts by the brand Bally's and like by Bally Total Fitness and they were on sale for $14.99 for two pair. So I thought it would be worth trying on. There's a black pair and then this is like a dark navy, which I think should be okay. Maybe the navy will camouflage some of the butt sweat. Let's try on the navy. We've seen what the black shorts look like with tops. Um, Again, these are a size large, and as I'm about to put them on, I'm already questioning <sighs> this waistband. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay, moment of truth. Let's see here. Look here, like these are, I would have to, if I got these up my legs, I would literally have to like stretch out this waistband and I don't think that's fair to the next person, but uh, let's see. Maybe if I go slow. Okay, I didn't have to stretch it. I went slowly, I didn't have to stretch it. All right, let's see. These are kind of nice. They're kind of nice. I think I like them. I think I like them. And I didn't have to stretch the, I didn't have to stretch the waistband out. So go me. Yes, your girl is a size large. Come on, Valley Total Fitness. Let me go back a little bit so you guys can see again. I'm gonna take this off so you guys can see what they look like. Not bad, not bad, and $14.99 for two pair is really good. All right guys, so that puts us at a total of one, two, three, four, five, six new tops, and I'm wearing one pair of the biker short, and then, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six pair of biker shorts, and I've gotta be honest, as I've been wearing this top, I'm actually starting to like it. Even if I wore it like under my scrubs for work, I like it. I like it, I'm, I'm keeping these. So so also two additional sports bras. And again, this looks like weird because like I mentioned earlier, they gave you, like when you buy these, they give you two extra pads. So there's like two here and two here. So that's why it's looking all, all weird. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you like more videos like this, because don't forget, I plan to switch out all of my scrubs and then I also want to do a summer capsule wardrobe. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! And guys, don't forget the links for all of these items will be down in the description bar below.